Hello Nips, my name is Tua Harlo and I will be presenting our model for sparse block structure networks. In our model, networks are generated using the upper quadrant R plus square, and I'll here go over the basic idea behind our construction. We assume we are given an infinite number of potential vertices, theta 1, theta 2, theta 3. These are just numbers. Same numbers are present on the other axis. Each of these potential vertices has a sociability parameter w, and these are just positive numbers, like this. The potential vertices are turned into actual vertices as follows. We assume the number of actual edges between potential vertices theta1 and theta2 is given by a, 1, 2, which is going to be Poisson distributed with rate w1, w2. If this number is positive, then there's an edge between theta1 and theta2 in our network. So in that case, our network will look like this. Similar for all pairs of potential vertices. For instance, theta1 and theta3, the number of edges will be a13, which will be Poisson distributed. With rate w1, w3. And if that number is positive, that's going to be an edge between theta1 and theta3 in the actual network. This construction was actually proposed by Francis Kwon and Emily Fox about two years ago. We extended to model community structure by assuming each of these potential vertices has a color. So for instance, assume that theta3 is red, the other ones are green, and of course, similarly on the y-axis, then since these uh, vertices correspond to the potential vertices, this one is going to be green, and theta2 is also green, and theta3 is red. The way that they then modulate the edge probability is by assuming there are parameters eta here, which uh, depends on the color of the two vertices these edges connect. So for instance, in the case of theta1, 2, they are both green, so that would be the eta green green. But in the case of theta1, 3, uh, theta1 is, is green and theta3 is red, so that would be eta green red. Now this allows us to model community structure because if we for instance assume that if the colors are different, the theta values are all zero. In the case that the same color, they are one, that would trivially induce a community structure. The way completely random measures enter into this construction is by the assumption that theta and the w's follows a, a generalized gamma process. And that's also what allows us to capture uh, sparsity properties of the generated networks. Thanks a lot for your attention.